Hey everyone, and welcome to the third and final part of my series where I draw girls in Halloween costumes based on their astrology signs. The first girl's day I'm going to be doing is a Sagittarius, and if I'm being honest, I did have to Google how to pronounce that one. I, wow, long word, but I decided to make Sagittarius into a flapper. So, um, when I googled all of these different astrology signs, I searched their traits, and traits that are particular to the Sagittarius's are they're very extroverted, optimistic, funny, and generous. So I decided to make her into a flapper because I feel like she'd be the life of a party, and flappers were very um, anti-traditional, if I remember correctly, based on just different things I've learned over the years. They were doing a lot of partying, and very different from the sort of more modest era they were coming out of. There was more sparkly dresses, and I don't know if that's entirely historically accurate, but a lot more fun and alcohol and um, just more partying than there used to be. So that's why I decided to make Sagittarius into this because she's the life of a party. And in the end, I think she looks very cute. I love adding on the little sparkles as usual. And um, the glitter, and sequins looks really cool to me so i'm glad how that one turned out next we have capricorn and well let me tell you i was very frustrated with this sign not with the drawing but maybe some of you noticed but in part one of this short series i talked about taurus and i made her into an angel and in the background where i had text i accidentally wrote capricorn instead of taurus now that is wrong this one is capricorn that one is taurus so just ignore that, the D has been done, whatever, it's passed. Yes. <laughs> um, so this is Capricorn. I had a lot of fun with her outfit. I made her sleeves into a lacy spiderweb look, and on the red, dark inner part of her dress, I added tons of little details like little spiderwebs and scorpions and spiders and other creepy things. Um, so she is a vampire, clearly. Um, I didn't end up giving her any fangs just because I felt they looked kind of dorky, but she has a very dark look about her. I was gonna give her pale skin, but then I was like, it really clashes with her dark hair. Her hair is a very dark tone, so I had to give her a darker skin tone, but I don't mind because it gives her just an overall more dark look. I've said the word dark a lot, but that's what she is. She's very serious, independent, disciplined, and tenacious, so I felt like she'd make a very fierce vampire. Let me know in the comments which of these is your favorite. At the end of this video, I will point out every single one of the different designs I have made so far so you can see them all compiled in one place, but of course you can check out parts one and two if you want to see the full time lapse and a deeper, like, in-depth explanation of each of them. Next we have Aquarius. I feel like there's a lot of people, I don't know, I just feel like I have a lot of friends who are Aquariuses and they're all waiting anxiously for this one, but I decided to make her into a 50s girl with a cute little poodle skirt. Um, Aquariuses are deep, imaginative, original, and uncompromising, and a lot of the other ones I made them into more of a character, like they'd be a pirate, or a cat, or a zombie bride, but I just feel like her traits embody a sort of teenager, like she's off daydreaming in her own world, and obviously I'm not just gonna do like a modern day teenager, that'd be pretty boring, that's just like your way of saying you don't have a costume, but just getting out the cheapest way to get the candy, so I decided to make her into a cute uh, 50s girl. Really struggled on the face a lot, and just the anatomy of the jaw. Uh, usually I do more like dead-on angles or three-fourths views, but having her chin up more, like she's looking up into the distance, really made me struggle. I spent more time on this one than any of the other 11 astrology signs, but I think it really paid off. I think the anatomy looks pretty good in the end. I do think it's funny when I look at this series, the first video is about four minutes, the second video is five, and the last one is about going on seven. So I do think you can tell I got more into this challenge that I set for myself as time went on. Not that the original, the first drawings I did were bad, but I think I spent more time as I went along because I got really into this project. I really love how my Instagram feed looks now with all of these characters laid out. And the, just getting into this was a really fun project to challenge me and to just make me see that, hey, look, I can do something pretty cool with my time. The very last design for today's video and to wrap up the series altogether is Pisces. 
Um, and I made her into a hippie, so she has her little peace sign up and a flower crown and little details on her jeans. And I think this was cute. I think when I was a little girl, I just like wanted to be a hippie, not that I just wanted to like mess around or do dumb things. Um, and I didn't just stand for peace or all that stuff, but I had a little peace sign necklace and I don't know I just feel like it's idealized as a kid all of these different costumes You just want to be everything but pretty sure I was a Disney princess like every single year growing up, but She was fun to do. I'm proud of how her face turned out in the end um, And her jeans I added the jean fabric to make it look more realistic and the flower crown on her head looks pretty cute and yeah, I like her pose, it's fun. So wow, I feel like I was doing a whole lot of art this month of October, making all of these different costumes and trying to upload them all onto Instagram in a timely manner. So then I wasn't just like cramming them all in at the end. I had to do my calendar and add um, daily entries for which days I would upload everything. I felt so nice and organized, but, um, and then it worked out really well that I could just upload part one on a Friday, part two on a Friday, and hopefully this video on Saturday, which is actual Halloween. So if you're seeing this on the actual Saturday, happy Halloween. And here are all of my different designs in the end. So let me know which one you like the best. Check out my Instagram in the video description. And thank you so much for watching.